I'll talk to Mick. Everybody has their price. 10 bags, 20 bags. The Garda Commissioner is singing our praises for finding Donna Burke's killer. Aoife Burke's coming in to make a statement about him abusing her. Is Keith here? He was supposed to be meeting my boyfriend. Thing is, I can't get through to either of them. I think something might have happened. No! No! You did no! You did! No, 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 no! Where are you off? Going to find him. You stay here just in case he comes back. going to meet you. Oh, was a little boardy having a word in your ear? What have you done with him? I won't ask you again. Relax. He didn't turn up. Am I supposed to believe that? Vince, your boy was cutting me in on their little scheme. And with him missing, I'm the one out of pocket. And anyway, you might want to look a bit closer to home if you're wondering where he's gone missing to. Alice, I wouldn't trust her as far as we could throw her. And I'm a man speaking from experience. And here, if you do find him, you let me know. Still need to have a little chat with him. This is Alice. Leave us a message. Anything happens to my son. I'll make you pay. And you just tell them the way you told me. I know what to say. I know, I just... Fine. We're in here. Back again? She should have her own room here. She's here to make a statement. Tony Doyle abusing her. So, Neve. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looks like you'll be ordering my coffees from now on. How are you going to remember all? What? If you're not recording it. I am. But I'm going to write a report as well. It's always like this. Are you ready? I said so, didn't I? Okay. So, tell me about Tony. He's a scumbag. Apart from that. Take your time, Eva. He was always hanging around. Just a bit too close, you know. 
sitting on the couch, watching telly. Invade me space. I could smell his poxy aftershave. He was putting his arm around me. Do you remember when he did these things? What does that matter? He was always sniffing around. What about your ma? Was she there? Sometimes. Did she say anything? Not anything she knows. What about when she wasn't there? And if I need you to remember exactly. Hours. It'll really help with the case if you can remember any specific dates. Can you do that? I remember the last time. Then I... So much on. Did you help me, Kate? Did you find Moral? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was useful as an ashtray on a motorbike. Do you think the pair of them are in this together? Alice and Mick? I don't know. No, wait, wait there. Who's a Finny? Somebody left us a present. Get rid of that! Get rid of that now, Vinny! You okay? I need you to think. This match. Why are you going on about the bleeding match? Because it could be important. And you want to nail him, don't you? No. I love talking about stuff like this. I don't even like football. She would play in the game. I prefer to hurt him myself. A lot of cultures running around mistakes, banging each other. <laughs> I thought you would love that. Can you remember what teams were playing? His one. He was screaming at the telly. Called them all a big bunch of wasers. Do you remember what team he follows? Mm. Red Tops. Liverpool? No, the other lot. United? Yeah, that's them. That's great. That's really great, Aoife. Can I go all star, do I? Anything else? Hey, did I show her? Kept saying, see, scum. You know, you're the city, you know, that narrows it down a bit. It was raining and he was calm mental because his shirt was left out on the line. She hadn't brought it in for him. What was your mother? I thought she was our mates, but she had been gone a few days. And when she came back, did you tell her? She never came back. A rat. You know it does this, don't you? You know as well as I do. You, Jim. What happened to the last fella you thought ran it on? I still find the pieces of him. And he was related. Oh, Kate. You wouldn't. <laughs> You wait, Harry. I'll find Kate, don't worry. Oh, I see. 
If you're not busy, Garda Brennan, thought you were meant to be typing up Miss Burke's statement. I am. You're catching up on the football results at the same time. It's his version of multitasking, Linda. Let you down as more of a gal man, anyway. Everything all right? Yep. Are you sure now? Yep. Eve is only a young one, mother dead no time at all. Grass not even grown on her grave. I thought you said she was cremated. Anyway, what's the sneaky internet search? What? Well, I'm allowed to use a certain percentage of my own personal time. Oh, just be straight with me, Garda Brennan. I know when there's something bothering you. Well, for your information, this is a bona fide investigation. Jesus. What is this? Don't look at me. I had nothing to do with your big reconciliation. Be straight with me. Honest. When are we going clubbing? Seriously? I don't know, it might not be such a bad idea. I mean, my social circle took a bit of a hit when I started going out with a guard. Hate when that happens. I'm going out with some of my mates the weekend, if you want to join us. I don't know. Fair gas? I'm sure they are. My office there. What else are you gonna do? Stay with your muffins? He went into a room, Tony Doyle. The night Donna Burke was murdered. Filthy animal. And that's two reasons he should rot in jail. It was the night of United versus City. Aoife says he watched it at home. Is she sure it's the same game? I'm a big United fan. And if he was at home when I think he was. Are you lacking? Do not get this. Boss! We well, couldn't have done both at the same time, could he? Push up. Right, what was the time on that camera footage? I told you, 21.32. Well, have you checked? Don't need to. I have a photographic memory, me. Well, I think you should check it again anyways. Don't and Thomas. Don't believe anyone until you see holes in their hands. Here, what's this? Jesus trying to catch a marble. <laughs> God forgive me. Well, can we just... All right, keep your tongue on. What you up to? Nothing. Linda was just... Online dating. <laughs> Pod asked for my help to spice up his profile. <laughs> Too many left swipes, Podge? Thanks for that. Oh. The match went into extra time and penalties. If he stayed at home for the whole game, he couldn't have murdered Donna. <sighs> Hello? See that swimming on the telly? Some shape, Ari. How long do you think someone can hold their breath underwater for, anyway? You know, trapped. Ah, you're asking the wrong man there. Well, you'd be surprised. You know what are great little swimmers? No, what? Rats. What? Ah, oh, yeah. Rapid swimmers, yeah. Of course, carriers of disease swimming through the sewage and up into the jacks, into your home. Uh, you need zero tolerance with rats. No question. You know where my key is? I'm gonna give you five seconds. Six, seven, 
Eight. Nine. Ten. <laughs> Odd that, huh? <laughs> Seems like I'm still in one piece. <laughs> in fact, I never felt better. That's. He's okay. Rats are vermin. So it's only natural if I see one, I'll stamp one out. You cross my path again, you'll be eaten through a tube for the rest of your life. All the same, I haven't seen young Keith. I'll keep an eye on it, though. Ah. Best of luck. You did something to him! Where is he? Boss. Finish that statement, Jen? Oh, it took your time. Typing wouldn't be one of my strong points. I had to check a few details. How's Aoife? Is she hard as nails, that young one? No, it has to be. Yeah. You should read that. You know, I, I will. I've just got to... Get this copy for the press conference written before the Super gets back tomorrow. You might want to read that first. Who would have thought anyone would care so much about that little worm? <laughs> yeah, well, let's see if he gets a good turnout. What? Oh, God, man, I'm only joking. Why nobody have a sense of humour around here? Ah. Now, look, uh... Really appreciate you coming to me with your information, Michael. I don't forget things like that. Yeah. So when he is letting them go, then. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need me car back and all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, you might not see that again. Why? What do you have to do with it? <sighs> Look, I'm sure it won't come back on you. Just. Tell the guards we're stalled, that's all. What comeback? What is that to do with Coily? The guards, yeah. You think they'll find him if Eugene has anything to do with this? He's smarter than a lot of them. Well, we have to do something. Call Alice. Look, you said he yourself. She knows more than she's letting on. I've tried you, Jane, and Mick. Well, Mick's all front. But he has a soft spot with that young one. And if he's going to tell anyone, he'll say it to her. Go on, call her. You hear him? We need to have a little chat. When? Now. This is about my bleeding son. Now you better get over here quickly. Do you understand me? I said I can't, right? Now stop ringing me. He's here. He needs to fill you in on what happened. Put him on. I'm not going to put him on the phone. You never know who's listening. You get yourself over here now. Do you hear me? I think she brought it. I don't know. We'll soon find out, won't we? A football match. I was at a graduation dinner. Why exactly have I been dragged back here? November 24th, night of Donna's disappearance. United versus City, the kickoff was delayed because of fog or something. Went into extra time. Aoife says he was in foul form because United lost. That which means he watched the whole match. Earliest he could have left the house was 10.50 p.m. It couldn't have been him in the hotel footage. Yeah, we have solid forensic evidence. The hair, the duct tape, Tony Doyle's DNA was found on her body. Yeah, we never did trace that third sample. Look, I know this is the last thing you wanted. Oh, you think? But we at least have to investigate the possibility that Tony Doyle is an innocent man. What have you got in mind? Go back to his house. We already have everything. Anything remaining is going to be compromised. We might find something that proves it either way before we call the DPP. Well, we're going to have to give them a lot more than Aoife Burke say so before they drop it. Do you think he did it? <laughs> Does it matter what I think? You lied. Not nice, is it? So where is he? 
I told you, I don't know. Went to see Eugene Casey. Your boyfriend was there. Mick? Hmm. Hiding behind the wall of lugs. Thick as a bag of hammers. Take them one on one, I tell you, sort them out with the boys. He knows where Keith is. What are you looking at me for? Well, you're going to stop being such a bleeding eyesore and make yourself useful. Call Mick. I can't. Do it. Go on. You just don't understand. My son is missing. Now get on your phone. Now. Yeah, same again there, yeah? It's me. Go away. Where is he? Keith. Ah, you missing him already, are you? I told you, nothing happened. Hang on, I'm getting a call and you're all in there. Oh, look at your mammy ringing me back. Mick, please. If you know anything. We can't. Do you want that stash? What? You'd be going for months back here. And you know it's top quality. All you have to do is tell me. Mick, do you want it or not? He found out about the drugs. You. How? He just did. Where is he, Mick? Check the docks. What did they do to him? What have they done to him? What? I'm here. Mick is lying to us. So why would he do that? He can't be here. He can't. What are we going to do now? Are you listening to me, Vin? Yeah, Bridge, I'm listening to you. I'm looking. Bridge. I mean, he's in there, Bridge. He, he might have got out. The lock boot at the bottom of the dock. Hey! Bridge. <laughs> Will you do something? He set me up. I never harmed a woman. I wasn't even there. You don't know exactly where he went I in. I told you no. Or how he went in. Not someone saw him driving in. Or... Who did? Some kids. I don't know them. Well, if you don't have any more information, you best be going home. We're not going anywhere. Well, you can't do much here. Well, you can. Look, our son is in there. Sarge, can you come here for a sec? Yeah, hang on, I'm coming. Pretty murky in there. Yeah, better not be a bloody wind up. I don't think it is. Go on. Saw Kylie in the pub earlier. This when you were supposed to be down at the motel? Oh, yeah. Just popped in. Well, come on, spit it out. But he was sitting there and he kept checking his phone, like he was waiting for something. 
Then two gouges walked in in the upton left, with a full point behind them. That might be nothing, but... Kylie leaving Gargle behind him. Alpha base, this is Sergeant Del Reardon. I need a dive team down at the south dock. Pronto. Roger. You said he was driving. Yeah. Yeah. But you thought he was in the boot, didn't you? No. I told you the car was in there, didn't I? If he was in this car, all this means is he isn't in it anymore. He'll still be out there. Rich, you be okay? I know he will. Who did this? Angela, Tony Doyle, don't let him use Eva's accusation to get off a murder charge, okay? He gets a sniff it out on our part. His solicitor is going to be down us like a ton of bricks. I won't. Look, if anything comes of this, the DPP will just have to face facts. Simple as that. So you orchestrated all this, Carter Brown? Yes. Very diligent. You can't corroborate your whereabouts that night. No comment. You don't want to help yourself, then? No comment. I see you've been through the wars. No comment. Are you aware of what you're facing here? I was fitted up for this by the fat guard. Beaten up. Hauled in here. And do you think that I'm going to trust Jeeves for a second? You stitch anyone up for a collar, Eula? You don't need to trust anyone else, just me. Now, I'm here right now, and I'm giving you the chance to explain where you were at the time of the murder. I told you I don't remember. My client has already answered this question on a prior occasion. 
So, refresh my memory, where were you on November 24th at 9.30pm? No comment. This is a murder charge, you understand that? No You'll comment. You'll be facing life in prison. You'll never okay. go to That's the jail. No comment. That's Supervised. Watching no your friends comment. and family age from across the table for the rest of your natural life. Well, that's if they even bother to come see you. And what she and I know in our experience is that most families cut murderers are. They don't want to be associated with them. I think we're done here, Detective Sergeant. Now, how many days have you been in jail, Mr. Doyle? What? How many days? Two days. Two days. And you've been attacked already. If that happened in two days, do you think you can be kept safe in, I don't know, 20, 25 years? See, as I say, you have two options. Solitary confinement on your own all day, every day, or you can talk to me and we can see what we can do. See, what did you do that night? Did you encounter anybody who could provide you with an alibi? I told you, I don't remember. We have an allegation against you. 24th of November, night of Donna's death. City United, there was a local derby on. Son's a big United fan, he was devastated at the result. So what about you, Mr. Doyle? Were you as devastated? Scumbag. He should be castrated with an anaesthetic. I see how cocky he is then. It's a bit extreme. Well, you didn't take her statement. He did it and I did it. He slipped into her bed and interfered with her. And I promised her I'd get him for that. Very dangerous thing, Garda Brennan, to make promises you might not be able to keep. I'm getting for it. Even, even if your alibi leads to a prosecution for a different crime, it'll be a lesser sentence than murder. This is your only way out. Detective Sergeant, please. My client is done. Your Sergeant. client wants to make a statement. Sit down and shut up. Must have been pretty hacked off. What did you do after the game? Tony. Or shall I jog your memory? So according to Aoife's statement, her mum wasn't there. Been away for a few days. No surprise there. Bit of a wanderer. Is there, Donna? So it was just you and Aoife there? Alone in the house. You knocked on her bedroom door, is that correct? I was checking on her. Checking on her. Thought you'd no time for her. She was missing her man. Well, that's quite paternal of you. Considering she's not even yours. I put a roof over her head, didn't I? And how exactly did you... Check on her. Call her name? Yeah. 
Maybe tap her on the shoulder, yeah? Did you touch her somewhere else? What did she say? I'm doing the questioning here, if you don't mind. Did you touch her, Mr. Doyle? Give her a kiss goodnight. Climb into her bed. Did you molest Aoife Burke? Answer the question, Mr. Doyle, or you'll be going down for murder. Wasn't... Wasn't what? She... So on the 24th of November, did you or did you not molest Aoife Burke? Resume the search again at first light. Mind if I use the checks? Yeah, go on. Forward. Thanks. Rich, he wasn't in the bill. You got out. Yeah, maybe he wasn't in the bill, or maybe he's drowned. Oh, he's alive. I know it. I can feel it in me gut. I mean it, Bridge. Look, I know Keith can do some stupid things, but when it counts, he has a coily brain, you know? Sharp, clever. Get himself out of scrapes like this one. Keep him over there. I'll get him into the garden. You okay? Yeah, yeah, just need a bit of time to ourselves. I won't interfere. Alone. Sure. C can you just leave us? I think it's best. Can you not just leave us to grieve in peace? <laughs> right, well, uh. <laughs> call us if you need anything, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we will, yeah. What the hell happened, huh? Are you all right, son? You're all right. You're safe now. You're okay. You're with us, all right? Bridge, get an extra blanket, will you? Put the kettle on. You're all right. I thought I was going to die. Oh, you're grand now, son. You're here. You're home. You're home. Bridge, will you get the blanket? Yeah, one second, Mark. You don't hurt women. Just little girls, is it? Nothing to say for yourself, no. Big man, huh? Come on. Well, his solicitor will probably make a complaint against me. But we can't always play by their rules. I suppose we're back to square one. We should call the commissioner. Yeah, of course. I'll <clears throat> I'll put in a call right away. Tom, it's me. Do not hang. Those drugs. I warned us all. But the heart cross raising me. Well, no one asked you to come looking for me, did they? Clearly, you can look after yourself. Bridge. Not get yourself to a phone box now. When was the last time you seen a phone box? 
Do you get smart with me after what you're after putting us through? Look, the most important thing is you're home now, safe and sound, all right? They still out look for me? Yeah. They start again for us, Lee. And what about Alice? What about her? But he, he, he'll be after her. And the kid. Don't worry about her. She's well able to look after herself. Look, listen, she was around there. No, 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 no. We have, we have to find her. See. No, no, I have to find her. You're on no fit state to be going. But you anywhere. don't know what he's like, all right? I do know what no, he's I like. Don't. Look, Keith, if you keep this up, I'll march you down to that slipway myself and let you explain to Baldy Locks and the others. Is that what you want? Is that it? It's me who nearly died here, remember? Yeah. Remember that? And you'll be closer than you think if you don't start doing what you're told. Look, he'll not get my hypothermia. There you go. And then we'll, uh, we'll decide what to do. Yeah. Everybody happy now, right? Right? I'll take that as a yeah. Uh... What are you doing? I'll have to get them to call up the search. Eugene thinks he's dead. He'll leave us alone. Do you ever cop on, Bridge? You mark my words. You make that phone call now, you'll have thugs banging down that door in five minutes flat. For the moment, he is better off dead. If you've been affected by any of the issues raised in this programme, please visit our support page, tv3.ie forward slash helplines. Mm -hmm.